So let's have a strap nearby today and start with our warm-ups. So feet hip with apart, toes straight ahead. Spread your toes out, no gripping. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Get your core active with those ribs toward your spine and up, lengthen. Feel that posture improve, shoulders back and down. And just let your arms relax at your sides. Take a few moments to breathe. Bring that energy inward, exhaling the stress and tension. And just follow the breath, bringing your awareness into your yoga perspective. And keep it there, centered. Get grounded. And inhale, arms to shoulder level. Stretch your fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front. Keep your shoulders down. And then clasp your arms behind you, hands behind you. Hands to the floor. Lift your heart. Feel that chest expand. And then pivot over, exhaling all the way down. Deepen as much as you'd like, letting your hands come up and your head down. Move your chin. Let that back of your neck release a little bit more. And then bend your knees slightly and work your way slowly up. Coming into that upper body back bend, dropping your shoulders down and lifting your heart. Keep stretching your spine and don't forget to breathe. And then inhale on your way up and release into mountain pose. Take a moment, just feel what's going on as your body responds. And again, arms out, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp the opposite way behind you. Hands to the floor and heart to the ceiling, stretch your head back, and again, pivot over. Feel your whole spine working as you breathe and relax. Just deepen as far as you want. And then again, slowly work your way back from the bottom of the spine, winding back all the way into the back bend, coming up. And again, chest high, shoulders down, and stretch, spreading your toes, lengthening your whole body. And inhale upright, release your arms, and again, just feel that stimulation through your spine. Side stretches, so let's bring the arms again to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, shoulders stay down as you bring your arms over your shoulders, and then pass and clasp, bringing your arms next to your ears. Sitting bones down, shoulders down, crown high, and no twist, knee into the side. So just stretch out through the side, pushing the foot you're leaning away from down. And then inhale back upright, keep the shoulders down, switch the other arm to the front, and again, next to your ears. Stretch out and lean, no twist, so don't lean forward or tip upward. And again, feel the ribs stretch apart as you lean, pushing your foot down. And again, coming up, release into mountain pose. Feel the sides more open, and then open your spine. So we're going to twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders. Just clasp your elbows. Arms next to your ears, sitting bones down, spine stretching up, and turn to one side. Take a breath. And spread your toes, exhale, coming over. And just deepen as much as you like. Lift your sitting bones, relax your arms. Take a breath or two. And then keeping the weight on both feet, come on back up in the twist and lift your heart. So upper body only in your back bend. Remember, don't overwork your low back when you're twisting. Take a breath, stretch it out. Inhale to the top, exhale to the center, and switch your arms around, balance your body. And again, stretch the spine apart, turn to the other side. Take a breath, exhale over. 
Spread your toes. Come on all the way down as far as you want. And lift your sitting bones. Take a breath or two there. And again, on an inhalation, come on up. Stay in the twist as you lift your heart and pull your elbows back. Again, the shoulders are down, the chest is high, and your low back isn't working hard. Just breathe into that upper body back bend. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips up, coming into extended mountain. And just sink evenly into your feet. Keep your arms by your ears as straight as you can and pivot forward at your hips. So get parallel to the floor if you can. See if you can stretch a little bit more and then just drop into ragdoll. Pull in deeper with your hands behind your calves if you'd like. And then arms back to the center, knees slightly bent. And one more roll up from the bottom all the way to the top of your spine. Back into mountain pose, just once more, feeling that energy through your body. Take a moment, stretch up and breathe, and then pivot at your hips again, come parallel to the floor, and stretch. Take a moment there. Lengthening your spine, just allow your arms to come out at shoulder level, parallel to the floor, and then keep them across from each other as you turn into the twist. So remember, you're stretching your spine apart, one hand coming down, the other one up. Looking slightly to the side, pushing both feet slightly down. And then back to the center. And go to the other side. Again, just rotating, feeling that twist. The hip comes up slightly on the side you're turning toward. And then back to the center. Stretch the arms out, shoulder blades towards your waist, sitting bones and crowns stretching apart. Pivot up, keep those arms right at shoulder level. And then palms to the ceiling, look up, palms together to your heart. And again, into mountain pose. Take a moment, feel your body a little more stimulated and find your strap. So take a moment and breathe. And we're gonna have the strap right next to us so we can do a little balance with our strap. So you can keep it on the floor while we do our first balance warm up. So figure out which is your favorite balance foot. Spread your toes, get the ball of the foot, base of the toe area down, but not the toes. So don't crunch the toes down, that gives you less support. Keep lifting your arch, keep the whole bottom of the foot down and the toes spreading out. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up. That may mean that you need to roll in the top of your thigh so the knee and toe go the same direction. You don't want the knee going out toward the side. Sitting bones down, hips open, core active. So those ribs toward your spine and up. Feel that good support on your low back, crown to the ceiling, and then bring the other foot up. So just a little if your balance challenge today or more, or pull it up toward your heart. Take a moment there, just breathing, feeling that balance and work your ankle so that we get it circling both directions, keeping it flexible. And then flex some point and straighten the foot out and bring it back to the floor. Shift to the other side, getting centered and grounded on that opposite foot. Sink evenly into the heel and the ball of the foot area. Spread those toes out, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, core active, shoulders back and down, and bring the other foot. A little or more, or up towards your chest. And again, pull it in as much as it wants, and then work your ankle around, making sure we keep it flexible. Ah. <laughs> and then flex some point and bring it down. And then get your strap. And as we get into our balance, sinking into that balanced foot, we're gonna put the strap around the ball of the foot area of the other foot. So just keep it down. 
and both straps, both sides of the strap into your hand. So a nice long strap helps. And then just slowly, you can either bend your knee first and then bring the leg out straight in front of you, or keep it straight as you pull it up and push out through the heel. So pulling just gently back on the base of the toes and that strap, keep the strap nice and supportive for your leg. Bring it only as high as it wants to go, and then exhale and bring it back down. Switch to the other side. Get centered and grounded on your balance foot and the strap around the ball of the toes on that leg that's going to come up. Center and ground, get everything aligned. Keep that core active, supporting your spine, the shoulders back and down as you center into your balance and either bending the knee first or just pulling the leg up bring that leg out as much as parallel to the floor if that works for you. Keep the toes pulling slightly back as you pull on the strap, push out through the heel, and keep breathing. And as you exhale, lower the leg. And again, coming into your balance, we'll do one more version of that. So starting on your favorite foot, or your starting foot, whichever that happens to be. Again, get the strap around the ball of the foot. Take a moment, center it around, make sure things are aligned first, and bring the leg up. And again, as you get into your starting position, just stay there, improving whatever you need to. And if you're good there, you can bring one arm out to the side as you bring the leg over toward the other side. Take a moment and breathe. And then bring the leg back in and lower the leg. Exhale any tension and get ready for our final balance side. Again, putting the strap around the ball of the toes. Center and ground into your other balance leg. Again, spreading the toes, aligning, core activating, getting everything ready to center into that rooted foot and bring your leg again up, either bending the knee or straight. Keep it there, finding your balance, or you can bring the arm out as you bring the leg to the side. Again, find your balance, breathe into it, exhale tension. And then bringing the leg back in, exhale, and lower that leg. And set the side, the strap aside for later as we breathe. So again, back in mountain pose, hands to your heart, shoulders back and down. Take a breath, just relax. Let the tension go, and inhale. Bring the hands toward the ceiling. A nice upper body chest expansion as you bring your hands a little bit further back, lifting your heart. Swan dive forward, coming all the way over, pivoting at your hips, stretch it out, and drop into ragdoll. Take a breath there, and then bring your hands under your knees on your shins into our halfway up stretch. Straighten your knees, your elbows, and your spine. Stretch everything out. And then bend your knees, coming to our child pose, transition to the floor. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up at your feet, and forehead toward the floor. Take a moment, let those shoulders relax. Spine stretch. Come as deeply into that as your body would like. Knees together, getting a little more stretch on your low back if you love it. Take a breath. Exhale and release. And then on an inhalation, sit up and slide off, bringing your legs out to the front into staff position. Have your strap nearby, sitting bones behind you, core actively supporting your spine, shoulders again back and down right over your hips. Reach your crown toward the ceiling 
And take a moment to push out through your heels, pulling your toes just gently up and back. So feet hip width apart and lengthen. And then we'll keep stretching through the back of the leg. So take your strap, bend your knee, and put the strap around again, the base of the toes right there at the ball of the foot. Stretch that leg back out next to the other one. Keep it as straight as you can. And we're just gonna keep pushing out through the heel, pulling just gently on the strap as you lift that leg. You can bring it up higher or you can leave it down lower either way. Don't overwork your shoulders, just a gentle pull against the strap, against the base of the toes area. Keep pushing out through the heel, feel the back of the leg stretch. So get the knee as straight as you can. Think about pulling the kneecap towards your thigh and tightening the front of the thigh. That makes, that's the back of the leg straighten as much as it will. Take a moment and breathe. As you exhale, maybe pull it a little higher, but don't worry. Stay on your sitting bones, not coming onto the back of your body. And just lift that as much or as little as it wants to. And then again, we're just gently going to pull that leg over to the side. Keep pulling on the strap so you got that leg nice and straight. Exhale any tension. Breathe into it. And then bring the foot back. Keep those hips right above the, no, keep the shoulders above the hips. <laughs> and then pushing out through the heel, pulling on the strap if you like. Bring that leg back down and release the strap so we can do the other side. And again, you can bend the knee to bring the strap around the ball of the foot on that second leg. Again, bringing it back out into staff position. Keep those sitting bones slightly behind you and the core working and the shoulders above the hips, everything just regular as you bring. Pushing gently out through both heels, pulling the toes back, lift the other leg. And again, only as high as it wants to go, tightening that knee, tightening that thigh so that you can feel that back of the leg stretch along the hamstring. Take a breath, relax, let it get a good stretch, maybe lift a little higher if you love it, and don't forget to breathe. Not a lot of pressure in the shoulders as you're pulling on the strap. And again, we're bringing that leg over to the side as straight as it wants to be, pushing out through the heel, pulling on the ball of the foot with the strap, just letting it come over to the side as far as it wants to go, letting that hip do its own work. Exhale, and bring the leg back to the center. Again, take a moment there, breathe into it, and slowly lower the foot. And coming back into staff, you can release the strap from around that foot. Feel your hips, maybe a little bit more work from them, and don't forget to breathe. And let's bring the feet to the end of the mat. And again, have that strap nearby for a moment later. So we're in our staff position with the sitting bones behind us and the core active and the spine stretching up through the crown and the shoulders right above your hips. And then we're going to roll down. So get the core active, supporting your body as you slowly roll down onto the sacrum, that lower part of your back, and then the bottom ribs, and then the shoulder blades, and then finally the shoulders come down and your head. And then just relax for a moment, recline integration. Just let your body release a little gentle curve in your back whatever is natural for you. Sitting by slightly pushing out towards your heels, press the back of your body down, bend your knees, and bring the heels right next to your sitting bones, knees straight up. So remember, you may need to roll that top of the thigh in to make sure those knees don't spread apart. Press your back all the way down to the floor, feel that core, get a little more connected down. Feel it stretch through the back of your body and then tuck the sitting bones back toward your shoulders as you lift the ribs up and get that space underneath your low back. So you're arching up. So a little back strength in our here. 
Exhale, sitting bones pushing towards your heels as you pull the whole spine to the floor, getting as flat to the mat as you can get, and then arching upwards to the ceiling, tucking those sitting bones back up toward your shoulders. Arch up as much as you'd like. Remember, personal practice, do what's right for you. This back strengthen are also challenges the core. So just keep going at your own pace, arching up and then pressing down. Just slowly, you want to feel what's going on through your body as you do those motions. And then come to just a kind of neutral position with your back and Stretch your legs out. Take a moment there, just feeling your body, sinking your body down slightly. Push the sitting bones again toward your heels and draw your heels again toward your sitting bones. And then your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, hug it in a little bit. And then we're going to release the left leg and bring it all the way out. Or you can keep it bent, actually, to start with, because we're going to attach our strap again around the ball of the foot or on that right leg. And then bring the right leg up toward the ceiling. And you can keep the left leg bent, or you can slide it flat and get that hip area sliding toward your, your heel that's extended out. So bringing the leg up as far as it wants to go, again, straighten that knee as much as you can, and just let that back of the leg get a good stretch. Take a moment and breathe. If you like and you're flexible, you can pull that leg closer toward your body, toward your head. But that's not necessary. We're just stretching the back of the leg. So do what's right for your body. It's a little easier if you keep that uh, left leg knee bent and the foot on the floor, it helps to keep that sitting bone area down for that, or the back of the back down a little bit more. If you want, you can do that, or you can hold your left hand on the left hip and hold it down. So you keep those hips open. Take a breath, press the Strap into the ball of the foot and just stretch out through the heel, straighten the knee as much as you can, giving that back of the leg, getting a good stretch today. So take a moment, breathing, activating through that whole hamstring, let back of the leg area. And then you can switch the strap to your right hand and pull the left hand over to the left, and then just lower the side of your foot down toward the floor. Or you can keep the hand on the hip so the hip stays down. And again, just go as far as it wants to go, pushing out through the heel, keeping the leg as straight as you can. It may not make it to the floor, that's okay. But as you relax while you're in this position, it will go further toward the floor when gravity's ready to bring it. It may never make it to the floor, that's okay. Just keep pulling on the base of the toe area with the strap. And stretching the heel away. Keep the knee as straight as you can and let the leg lower if it wants to, but if it doesn't, just keep holding it. That's okay. And then still pulling on your strap, bring that leg back straight up toward the ceiling. As straight a leg as you can, switch the hand to the opposite side and the arm out at shoulder level. And we'll go into a little twist with it. So rolling onto this left side of your hip, lower the inside of the foot down toward the floor. You can turn and look toward that arm behind you if you want to go into the full twist, keeping your shoulders down. The leg just lowers as far as it wants to go into that twist position. Remember, you're pushing out still through the heel, pulling back on the ball of the foot with the strap as you lower. Let gravity bring that leg as far toward the floor as it wants to go in your twist. Remember always, personal practice, don't go too far. Your leg may be up in the air still. Just keep stretching that hamstring. That's really our intention with this, not getting as deeply into the twist as you possibly could. Take a breath. The more you exhale, remember, the more things release and the more deeply you can go. 
And then still pulling on your strap, bring that leg straight back up toward the ceiling, pushing out through the heel, and either holding on to the strap as you lower the leg or releasing the leg, lower it to the floor. As it gets down, just straighten things out, feel what's going on, relax your shoulders, and yeah, you need to get ready and do the other side. So again, sitting bones toward your heels, draw your heels toward your hips and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that good stretch through the back of your body. And then this time the right leg sends back to the floor, pulling that knee toward your heart, getting that strap around the ball of the foot on the left leg. And again, bring the foot up toward the ceiling as straight as you can. You can leave the right leg bent, or you can straighten it out, holding the hip down to the floor, if that helps in your body. And again, just pulling the leg toward you, straighten the knee, pulling the kneecap toward your thigh and tightening the front of the thigh, letting that back of the leg hamstring get a little more stretch. A little bit toward your head if you'd like, but don't overdo it. We just want to get a good stretch on the back of the leg. Keep pushing out through the heel. Keep pulling on the strap just gently. And again, you can bring the arm either out to the side or hold the hip down as you lower the side of the foot toward the floor, however much it wants to go. Stay wherever it goes. Then relax as you relax. Gravity will bring the leg further if it's ready to, but don't force it. Just let it go. Take a few breaths. Exhaling, releasing any tension, just allowing the leg to drop whenever gravity is ready to let it go. Deepening, keep the hip as much down, the right hip as much down toward the floor as you can as you open through that whole pelvis area, letting the leg go over to the side and down toward the floor, only as far as your body is willing to go today. And of course, on your own, if you hold it longer, it will go further toward the floor. But we never have much time. We're just sampling today. So let it go and then relax as much as it wants. And then we're pulling on the strap, bringing the leg again back up toward the ceiling, getting ready to go into our twist. So again, pushing out through the heel, pulling on the strap with your right hand, we're bringing the left arm out so you can turn and look toward that left arm behind you as you roll onto your right hip and let the inside of the foot go down toward the floor. Pulling still on the strap, keeping that leg nice and straight through the back of the leg hamstring. So again, the foot may come down as far as the floor with the shoulder on the floor, or it may not. Do what's right for your body. Shoulder down for that middle back, twist and turning your head for the neck area and just again letting that foot go toward the floor as much as it wants it may be in the air that's okay so just breathe into it relaxing letting that foot come across and down and keep the heel pushing out so that hamstring keeps stretching as you're in the position take a breath pulling back with the ball of the foot in your strap and then slowly rolling again onto your back, bringing the foot up, either holding onto the strap as you slowly lower the leg or releasing, letting that leg come all the way to the floor. Take a moment there, breathe, just relax and allow that strap to just set aside. Center and ground, giving your hip area releasing down. Shoulders relaxing. Exhale. Allow your body to soften and sink into that surface beneath you. Turn the toes toward each other. Push out through your heels. And then just relax the legs completely. Move back and forth through the hips, through the pelvis. Just kind of roll back and forth, giving a little bit of release through that hip and leg area and turn your hands palms up letting the shoulders sink deep down toward the floor 
Roll your head side to side. Go ahead, release your neck as well. And just coming back into a neutral middle of the middle of the body position. Relax your body completely into corpse position for a relaxation. Soften your belly. Let it sink. Your whole body growing heavy as you exhale. Just deepening into that surface beneath you and letting Mother Earth support you. Deep breath in. Exhale, let everything go. As you relax your whole body, just let it release into that earth support. And let thoughts of your body release from your awareness, softening and sinking. And as you release those thoughts, you know that other thoughts will come to your mind. Just release them as well, letting the thoughts disappear as easily as your breath, floating away without attention. And turn that awareness inward. Out of the thoughts of your body and your mind just completely released from your attention. Allow your attention to only focus within on that peace deep inside. Fill your awareness with peace. Fill your body with peace. Take a few moments and be peace. And if you're enjoying your relaxation today, just keep going as long as you have time. If it's time now to get ready for the rest of your day, you can join energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Moving your body gently, however, feels good for you today. Maybe circling those ankles, bending the knees, sitting bones toward your heels. Draw your heels up toward your hips and your knees up toward your heart for that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today. Wrapping your arms around, pulling the knees in as much as they'd like, maybe rolling around in a little circle on that low back, giving it a little massage. And when you're ready to release, with your head and feet on the floor, roll over to the side. Now sit back up, getting ready for the rest of your day. And if you'd like, we can do a little breathing exercise to end. So bring your hand in front of your face. Bring your right thumb on the right nostril and the fingertips up toward the ceiling. Exhale, inhale, and then press your little finger or ring finger and little finger on the left nostril as you release your thumb and exhale and inhale on that side. And just closing your eyes, following that circuit, thumb to the nostril, exhaling and inhaling, and then to the other side, exhaling, inhaling. And just continue at your own pace alternating one nostril and then the other nostril, exhaling and inhaling on each side for as long as it feels comfortable and soothing for you today. Thanks for joining me.